Hello all, welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this session we are about to solve a very frequently asked problem from permutation and combination. Let's get into the question. In how many ways the letters of the word genius can be arranged in such a way that we have got three subdivisions very frequent and very uh, I mean like you must have seen these kind of questions very frequently in many exams. So such a thing is what we are going to solve here to get a better approach. Okay, fine. Yes. Yeah. Let's see these subdivisions one by one. So the first one says all vowels are together. Second one says not all vowels are together. And third one says no two vowels are together. So it is really important for us to understand each of these questions very clearly. And then only we will be able to solve these problems. And before that, we will just uh, check the word what word is given to us. Our word is genius g e n i u s if you see it's a six letter word and we have got three vowels in our word is it or not what are the three vowels e i and u there are three vowels and three consonants now let's come to these subdivisions one by one first one is all vowels are together so which means the meaning is what wherever vowels come those three vowels should be appearing always together this is the meaning of this first subdivision so in that case what we do here is we will have to group all the vowels together first. Okay, fine. Yes. So let's take the word and we'll take all the three vowels. So what are the vowels? The vowels are going to be E, I and U. I'm just taking the way how it is present in our word. Okay, fine. Yes. I'm just taking that order how it is present in our word. E, I and U. Now let's do a thing. We will just group them as one single element. Okay. Yes. Now this is like one single object. And now what are the other letters we have there? Other letters are G, N, and then S. And these are three different letters. Okay, fine. Yes. So, our task here is like we need to arrange here only these four objects. You understand the point? There are only four objects here. Don't consider this as different, different word, different, different letters. Now, as of now, this is like one single object. So, one, two, three, four. Now, we are going to arrange four objects so that Wherever we take this object, all these three vowels will always come together. That's the objective. Fine, yes. Now, arranging four different objects in how many ways? On how many ways we can arrange it? We'll be able to arrange it in four factorial ways. Okay, fine, yes. So, four factorial. But hold on, our problem is not yet over. Now, for each of these four factorial ways, what we have is look at here, we have got three vowels, right? Now, the task is we have to take the vowels everywhere together. But within themselves, they can be in any different order. Is it or not? Like E, I, U, or it can be like I, E, U, or U, I, E. In whatever way, they can be present, right? So for arranging those three letters within themselves, we have got another three factorial ways. You understand this? So which means for each of these four factorial ways, we have got three factorial ways in which we can arrange the vowels itself. So this is going to be the overall answer. Now, when you simplify this, we'll be getting the answer as 4 factorial is 24 multiplied by 3 factorial is 6. So my answer will be overall answer will be 24, 6 or 144. That's the answer for the first question. I hope it is clear to you and you must be very sure with each and every notation we use here. So this 4 factorial is for these 4 objects, original 4 objects and this 3 factorial is for arranging these 3 vowels within themselves. That's it. Okay, fine. Yes. So the answer is 144 for the first question. Now coming to the second question. Not all vowels are together. Now what do you mean by this? You have a small, just a small adjustment, just a small difference from the first question to second question. Just a small difference you have. Not all vowels are together. Now what is the meaning of not all vowels are together? The meaning is out of those three vowels, the thing, all three should not be together. That's the meaning. Okay, fine. Yes. All three vowels should not be together. So it can be what? It can be like the vowels can be separated or the vowels out of those three, any two can be together. The other one will be separated. Like this, all these possibilities will come inside this. Which means the idea is going to be very, very simple. To find the answer for this question, let's take the total possible arrangements. How we can arrange this word genius. Let's take all possible ways, the total ways. From this, if I subtract all vowels together, all vowels together, we will be able to get the answer correct. Is it or not? You understand the point? Because from this total, I just don't want this alone. All the other remaining things, 
I will be accounting. Okay, fine. Yes, because here in this possibilities, what happens? All three vowels will come together. I don't want this, so I subtract this from the total. I'll be able to get the answer. Okay, fine. Yes. So, anyways, total will be what? Total will be like we need to arrange these six letters. Genius, all the six letters without any restriction. So, without restriction, in how many ways we can arrange it? We can arrange it in six factorial ways. So, six factorial minus minus all vowels together. Just now we got the answer as 144. So, which means 6 factorial 720 minus 144. So, what will be the answer for this question? This will be like uh, uh, 56 first, correct? 56. So, if I'm, I'm sorry, this is not 56. This will be like, uh, uh, let me just correct it. So, this will be like 120, right? So, 120 minus 44 will be 76. So, it will be 76. And then I'll have a 6, 6 minus 1 will be 5. So, 576 will be the correct answer for my second question. Okay, all right. So the first two subdivisions are over. Now coming to the third subdivision, third question. So here we have no two vowels are together. Now again, here we need to understand this question very carefully. Okay, yes. So here what is it they come to tell us? No two vowels are together, which means out of these three vowels, we should not have any two vowels even coming next to each other. That means wherever the vowels come, they must be separated. Okay, fine, yes. Any two vowels, if you take, that must be separated definitely by some other letter. Okay, I mean a consonant. Okay, at least one consonant, they should be separated. I should never find any two vowels appearing together next to each other. Okay, fine, yes. And one more thing here, we have to understand that if two vowels even will be separated, then that means it means that all three vowels also. Okay, fine, yes. Even three vowels should even not appear together. This is the meaning of this. So, in that case, how we can approach this? That means we should be just keeping this idea very clearly. So out of these six letters, what is the thing it should happen here is no two vowels. Okay, between any two, any two vowels, I must have at least one consonant lying there in between these two vowels. Okay, fine. Any two vowels I take. That means let's just do, let's just, just do a small approach here. Okay, fine. Yes, just listen what I'm going to do here. And I'm just going to take three slots for the three consonants first. Okay. So here, 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 because anyways, we have got three consonants in our word, right? So what are the three consonants? G, N and S. So those three consonants can occupy these three slots. Okay, fine. Yes. So for consonants, we have got three slots. And of course, those three consonants can appear in these three slots in any possible way. So for arranging these three consonants in these three slots, how many ways do we have? We have got three factorial ways. So which means we have got six ways. Yes, fine. Yes. So let's have it as it is. Now we are going to fill the vowels. Now see the way how I have just put the slots. I have placed the slots in such a way that there is some enough gap between the slots. Now we will just put slots for the vowels. Just look at the way how I have just arranged the slots. Now in these alternate slots, I can place the vowels. So here a vowel can come. Here we can have a vowel. Here we can have a vowel. Here we can have a vowel. You understand the point? You understand the point? Now if you see, no two vowels will come next to each other. And you will wonder that, you will wonder that, why there are four slots? Of course, there are only three vowels, but the point what I come to tell here is, out of these four slots, out of these four slots, your three vowels can occupy any of these three slots. That's the meaning. Okay, fine. Now let us try to find out the number of ways in which we can fill the vowels. Okay. Remember, there are four slots. One, two, three, four. And there are only three vowels. Now let's just pick the vowels one by one. Okay. Yes. Now let's take the first vowel. Now the first vowel has got how many different ways in which it can be seated? There are four different ways, right? So four ways in which you can place the first vowel. Now one of the slots got over. Now there are three remaining slots. Now pick the second vowel. Now the second vowel can be placed in any of the three remaining slots. So that means three ways to place the second vowel. And same way, pick the third vowel. There will be two remaining slots. Now the third vowel can be placed in two different ways. So it means the vowels alone can be placed in four into three into two ways, which means it will be 24 ways. That means what about the total number of ways? Total number of ways. Because for each of these consonants place six ways, there are 24 ways in which we can fix the place the vowels. So that means overall the answer will be 24 times 6. This will again give the answer as 144. And that's the answer for the third question. Okay, yes. So this is a very frequently asked question, and many students came out with this doubt, and that's the reason I'm just making this video. So I think this content will give you some idea about questions hereafter it will help you and if you find it useful please give a like and subscribe to our channel again let's catch up in the next session with some other 
Interesting question. See you soon there. Thank you so much.